For the following exercises, evaluate or solve, assuming that the function is one to one. So it says, if f of six is equal to seven, find the inverse function of seven. Okay, what does that mean in English? So, so uh, check out the prior two videos of this playlist, by the way, I went through this in detail. I'm probably gonna run through this just a tad faster, all right? But uh, the idea is this, okay? Um, your basic function notation looks like this. f of x is equal to y. Okay, and in English, this is going to say uh, when the when the uh, if we know the x value, then we can always find the y value, right? Or if we know the y value, we can always find the x value. So basically, what this is saying is that the function's value will be equal to the y value when x is equal to some number. Okay, so let's put that more concretely. If they gave me this. And I know it correlates to this particular notation. Then doesn't this look like x is six? And doesn't this look like y is seven? And it does. Yes, right. I mean that's what it is. It's saying that x is equal to six, y is equal to seven here for this original function. The coordinates at that point would be six comma seven. Okay. So if you had like a graph, you know, you go out six, you go up seven, and there would be your point. All right. Now, what does this mean? Well, this means find the inverse function now. Okay, of the original. So basically what happens is you can think about it this way. Okay, the inverse function now um, of the original will now switch the x's and the y's. So in other words, the y goes inside the parenthesis and now the x goes on the outside. Okay, technically though, however, all right, this is still going to be an x value and this is still going to be a y value. So what I'm trying to say is this. Okay, what I'm trying to say is this. And there goes one of these. So, oh, oh, no, oh, no. Am I going to be able to? What do you think? Oh, yep, there we go. All right. So I want you to consider it this way. If this y value were to be blue, then it would be now the same value as the value inside of this parenthesis. However, though, technically we need to call it x. So basically what I'm saying is that the y value will become the x value, okay, when you take the inverse. And guess what's going to happen to this x value? it becomes the new y value, okay? Becomes the new y value. Do a little switcheroo. So that's how it looks like in notation, with function notation. So if we know then, the invert, the, if we know that this x value here, oops, if we know that this x value here was really seven in the other problem, right? then what must the y value be here in the new one? Well, it must have been the old x value, which is six. That's then the answer to this. That's the answer. So in other words, x here is equal to seven and y here is equal to six. Or in other words, watch this. This is so much easier when you look at it in the coordinate. If this is the coordinate of the original, guess what the new one is? Seven, six, boom, you just switch them. That's it, you just switch them. Right? So if this was the blue y, it became now the blue x. And if this was the red x, this became now the red y. You see, it's so much easier with the coordinates. All right? But, you know, you kind of have to know it a whole bunch of ways. Um, anyway, watch how fast this next one is. Okay? So if f of 3 is equal to 2, find the inverse function of 2. Watch. Ready? What are the coordinates of this? Here's your x, here's your y. Boom, boom, boom. So this is going to be three comma two. All right, now we're taking the inverse function. So that means now if my new x value is two, well, what must have been now the new y value? Well, what it must have been the old x value. So you just switch, you just switch them. That's it, that's all you gotta do. So this is the answer. That's the answer. That's it, f inverse of two is equal to three. See how fast that is? Boom, 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 boom. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. Give us a hand if you can. Hit that subscribe button, like button, tell your friends. All right, and uh, got a whole lot of videos out there for you. All right, take care.